and with firm resolve and in one voice from this day and forever declare Barbados a parliamentary republic. That was the moment Barbados ditched Britain's Queen Elizabeth as head of state on Tuesday and became the world's newest republic. A 21-gun salute fired as a national anthem played over a crowd in the capital Bridgetown. Prince Charles stood somberly as the Queen's royal standard was lowered and Dame Sandra Mason was sworn in as the new president. We now turn our vessel's bow towards the new republic. We do this so that we may seize the full substance of our sovereignty. As part of celebrations, Prime Minister Mia Motley, who led Barbados's Republican movement, declared the singer Rihanna a national hero. May you continue to shine like a diamond. The birth of the Republic comes 55 years to the day since Barbados declared independence, and nearly 400 years since the first English ship reached the Caribbean island shores and claimed it for King James I. Prince Charles used his speech to acknowledge the darkest days of Britain's colonial past. The creation of this Republic offers a new beginning, but it also marks a point on a continuum, a milestone on the long road you have not only travelled, but which you have built. From the darkest days of our past, and the appalling atrocity of slavery, which forever stains our history. Barbados received 600,000 enslaved Africans between 1627 and 1833, who were put to work in the sugar plantations, earning fortunes for the English owners. While Britain cast slavery as a sin of the past, some Barbadians are calling for compensation from the UK. Barbados will remain a republic within the Commonwealth, a grouping of 54 countries across Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Europe. And what I'm saying, I'd like to say, any artist out there want to be an artist and want to stay a star and don't want to, don't want to have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the videos, all on the record, dancing, come to death row. It's your baby mama's favorite astrologer. You are now tapped in. With the hood mystic. Now, I want to explain this energy of Antares is the best way that I can. So let's first start with Anti. Now, Anti is an album. I think the last album by Rihanna. Yeah, it's a Corona type of day. It ain't no tea, no coffee, no nothing today. It's straight up Corona because it's been that type of energy. It's like I'm at a point in my life where I want love. Right. And I understand that I'm not going to be able to get love. So I'm just like. I just need to be left alone. Right. It's like when you get into this level and you understand these things and, you, and people come around you, you got to start asking, like, why are you around me? What's the purpose? And generally, people ain't going to give you the answer sufficiently to what your purpose is, because I could have a real life purpose that I'm working for. And people will enter into your vicinity and they disrupt your purpose. Like that is the reason that they come into your life. And that's the craziest thing. And if you don't, and you know, people get, people act like because I'm spiritual that everything in my life is going to be perfect. And if you listen to content creators that always show you the bright side, they not being realistic. And another thing, you can listen to constant content creators like I be skimming through like content creators and these new breed of content creators. They just more or less tell you about the boogeyman and don't give you any solutions and regurgitate things that they heard from Bobby Hemmett and things of that nature. But I want to talk about some new information. I want to do a case study on Rihanna. Rihanna is by far the most successful musical entity 
in the planet, bar none, right? Rihanna got the most songs. Rihanna has the most songs on Billboard that got a billion views, a billion. So what we're talking about, what we're talking about Rihanna is a goddess. And Rihanna is from Barbados. Now, if you know anything about Barbados, Bahamas, come on, pretty mama, to Bermuda, little Barracuda, ooh, I want to take you. Y'all ain't hip to that song. Y'all know nothing about that song. Anyways, Rihanna is from Atlantis. Rihanna is a goddess of Atlantis. Now, the deal is we'll give you all of the money in the world. We'll give you all of the success in the world. Just don't bring about the new age. So anti is a specific energy and related to Aries because Antares, I'm sorry, anti is specifically related to Antares. Antares is broken down to anti, the name of her last album, anti Aries. So that's anti war or anti the god of war or anti-war energy but the most interesting thing about this album cover is that it shows you that she is the atlantean queen but it also shows you that she's blindfolded to her power meaning that her crown needs to be up a little more so she could begin to see how much she is a goddess now rihanna is the first incarnation of the goddess reborn period Okay, she embodies the energy of Barbello. Now, people don't know what Barbello is, but like Anti, she wears red. And this is the energy that all human beings remember. We remember the energy of the goddess being one with the goddess, being one with it all. And the goddess is so benevolent, she created her destructive energy. What does that look like in real life? That looks like a beautiful mom and dad having a baby. We've all seen it. And now the baby smoking crack when they get older. Now the baby doing heroin and the baby doing all types of weird stuff. Ruining the family's legacy. Because the kid don't know how hard that the parents have worked. Now, that's the story in a nutshell of the goddess Barbello. But, you know me, I like to read. Even though it's a third grade reading level, I never heard y'all complain. So let's continue. Barbello refers to the first emanation of God. So that's the singularity. That's being one with the goddess. And that's what this new solar eclipse energy is about. You do rituals, you do spells, you do serious work during this time to be one with the goddess. Barbello is often depicted as a supreme female principle, the single passive antecedent to creation in its manifoldness. This figure is also variously referred to as mother slash father, the first human being, the triple androgynous name, or eternal eon. So prominent was her place among some Gnostics that some schools were designated as a Barbellyet. Barbello worshippers are Barbello Gnostics. So I want to show you that it's all cosmology. The cosmology of Barbello is tied into Antares. Now, I want y'all to look at the size of Antares. Now, the size of our sun in comparison to Antares, we can't even see it. It's, it's, it's small. I'm going to see. I'm going to zoom this in. This is education. This is real life spiritual education. So if you come in here to get entertained and check and jive, you might, you know, go down the hallway. There's somebody telling you about the boogeyman, you know, the boogeyman, white man that's coming to take your kids and things of that nature. Go down there. Right here, we're doing education. So a requirement to my videos is a pen and paper to learn this information so you can embed it within your psyche so you can understand. And this information don't have nothing to do with me. And because this information don't have nothing to do with me, I might struggle just as bad as y'all, maybe even worse, because spirituality don't absolve you of nothing, right? 
Because the goal is to understand. And if I'm here boasting my ego, telling y'all how great I am and how good my life is, then I'm not really concentrating on the study. I'm concentrating on my ego. But I say all of that to say sun worship and energy is very much minuscule when it comes to Antares or anti-Ares or the goddess energy Barbello, the original light source. So when you look up the Nishakra of Antares, the Nishakra of Antares is Jayesta. Now Jayesta is translated to the eldest. So this is the most massive, biggest star that scientists, um, astrologers, astronomers rather, anybody who looks in the sky, this is the biggest, right? Star. On the planet now, I want I want to ask y'all a question. Who I want y'all to put it in the chat in your mind. Who is the biggest pop star today? We talking about more than music, right? I'm not I'm not talking about just music. I'm talking about makeup, clothes, social media, videos. If if Rihanna put out a CD, I bet you she put out a CD this week or very soon. To capitalize on this energy, but y'all just keep y'all fingers close. Because she signed to Jay Z's Rock Nation. The solar eclipse takes place December 4th. Guess whose birthday that is? Jay Z's. Okay? So I just want y'all to understand when we talk about the magic, when we talk about the rituals, we tune it in to the greatest, most eldest light source in the universe, Antares, the great mother, Barbello. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it confused. Hopefully I'm clear. You could say Beyonce. Beyonce for sure. But. Beyonce for sure. But it ain't really nothing like uh, Fenty. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't be feeling like that. Ivy Park is. And that's a partnership with goddamn Adidas. That damn Fenty. And, and Beyonce married. Rihanna single. Imagine if Beyonce, if imagine if Rihanna was married to Jay Z. Think about that. That's some hot shit right there. If you really think about it. 